Hi, I'm Michelle Newton and I am a facilitator for the MISS Foundation. The MISS Foundation is an organization that provides um, support to families after the death of a child. We have been around for over 13 years. We're an international organization and we have uh, groups all over the world. We work with families by providing them support groups, by counseling. We have forums on our, on our websites. It's an organization that, that comes to the families and, and provides them hope. And, and hopefully then along the way we give them support through the journey. And, and it really ends up saving lives of families, changing lives, and, and changing the lives of so many people around them. I got involved uh, eight years ago when my son Brandon had uh, passed away ten years ago from a skateboarding accident. He was hanging out with his friends at a uh, park and he was standing on his skateboard and it went out from under his feet and he hit his head on a concrete picnic table. He was taken to the hospital where they found the bleeder but decided it'd stop bleeding. They discharged him after three days. We went home and I was, we were saying our good nights and he went to bed and went to his room and then he screamed, Mom, my head hurts. And I said, what do I need to do, bub? And he said, get me to the hospital now. And those were the last words we ever spoke and it was a very difficult journey trying to learn how to live without him. He was 15 years old and um, he was my baby and it was just a horrific journey. and. Um, Luckily, the Miss Foundation came into my life and changed my life, and I got involved and started giving back, and and uh, it's been an amazing, amazing journey, and it is it has turned the the horrible loss of Brandon into a, a gift that I can use to help others. Wow, Michelle, thank you so much for sharing that. That's very moving story and again I think a lot of people will be very inspired by what you just shared. Oh, thank you. Tell me, I didn't know that MISS was an international organization. Is it basically a web-based organization where you're doing your outreach via the internet or is it person to person? It's person to person. We, we actually hold the hands of our families as they grieve the loss of their child. Uh, we're, we're there with them along the journey. We have support groups, like I said, set up all over the world. Um, uh, people can actually go and sit and be with people who get and understand how they feel. Hopefully they don't feel so alone. But for those families who are maybe in areas where they can't get to a support group or, are, or can't get face-to-face -face with someone, we do offer HOPE mentors that can do over-the-phone supports and we do have forums on our websites where they can reach out and be able to to interact with others so we offer very uh, a lot of different ways where people can get that support wow that's that's great that's wonderful work that you're doing uh, if we can switch for a second and talk about the heroes with a heart grant how did you Kathy first hear about this grant opportunity well I can tell you for myself when I first heard about it I was on my Facebook and I was scrolling through and I seen something where Kathy post and I started reading it and I'm like oh my gosh that's me <laughs> and she had written the most beautiful nomination and it just it brought me to tears for quite a while before I could respond and and thank her for for even nominating me for this award it was so that's how I found out about it. She so surprised it was a bit me. Of a surprise. It was a surprise, and it was a beautiful surprise. Um, how did you feel when you found that you were awarded a grant? I was ecstatic. I just could not believe out of all of the organizations that were that were listed and, and the ones that I were up against. I went through and I was reading everybody's for all of those months that we were that we were. Uh, had known about what was happening and I just I kept saying oh my gosh am I really among all these people there are just so many amazing people and organizations that does such good work and uh, I I was it was just surreal to believe that I was among all, everyone else well 
Michelle, it sounds certainly like um, your work and Mrs. work are, are standouts in terms of the gifts that you give to your community. I personally want to thank you and the CTK Foundation wants to thank you. Uh, we would like to stay involved with your organization, see how we can help in the future. Is there something that you would like to say to finish this interview to the folks who might come to our site and uh, so that they can learn more about what you do or they can learn how they can reach out and help Miss? Well, the Miss Foundation is always in need of, of support. We are a uh, 501c3 nonprofit organization. All of the services that we provide our families are free at no cost the, to them, including our, our counseling and our, our support groups, all of, all of the uh, events that we put together, and, and we want to continue to give our families this much needed support. We have an amazing program called, called the Kindness Project, and that was started back in 1996, I believe, and it's where we, people do kindness acts in memory of a child, and we've had over a million kindness projects that have been done in, in memory of the children that have belonged to Miss, and we have a International Kindness Day, which is July 27th. We ask people to continue the kindness and, and, and do something um, spectacular or, or nice just for somebody else be, in memory of a child, just to know that that child mattered and still exists uh, to those parents. And those are things that you can do to, to help.